Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord who God's life. All right, so there are Christian denominations out there that would say that baptism really is just sort of a act of obedience that you would do. It's, it's a public testimony to what you believe, to, to show that you are really serious about this whole Christianity thing. I mean, you are in, like, all the way. Okay, but, like, imagine if any other group anywhere treated their own this way. Like, if you have to prove that you're really on board with an organization, you, you are really, really committed, this is how it's going to look. Like, you join the military and they, they ship you off to boot camp and the drill sergeant's just glaring down at you, or, or you, you join the mafia or something and all the families just gathered around you and glaring down at you. Or, or like, if you, have, if you got sort of like my background, you um, join the marching band? I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but you need to prove you're in. Like, really, really in. You gotta prove that you are committed, that you really, really trust the leaders here. You love this thing, like more than anything. They need to know beyond a shadow of a doubt. So this is what they're gonna do to you. And the drill sergeant's just glaring down at you and he says, I'm gonna splash you with some water. Not too much though, just a little. Oh, and I'm gonna say a name out loud when I do it. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I guess that that we can we could do that. I thought I was gonna have to like hurt. Um, like honestly, if you need to do, do something to to prove that you're really on board with something, shouldn't it be like even mildly impressive? Like if baptism was how you proved to God that you loved Him, shouldn't it be just a little bit flashier than I got kind of wet for you there, Lord, that one time? But more, um, if we believe that God can truly know our hearts, our thoughts, our true intentions, in fact, in the large catechism, Luther writes, the power, work, profit, fruit, and end of baptism is this, namely, to save. For no one is baptized in order that he may become a prince, but as the words declare, that he be saved. But to be saved, we know, is nothing else than to be delivered from sin, death, and the devil, and to enter into the kingdom of Christ, and to live with him forever. When you actually go on God's word, when he talks about baptism and what it does and who it's for, you can start calling baptism exactly what it is. It doesn't need to be you trying to impress God by getting a little wet. And no, it doesn't make you rich. And no, it doesn't make you better than anyone else. And no, it won't make you a prince. God gives baptism to you to give you salvation. He wants you saved so much that he wants to make it this easy to be saved. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. That's it. This is how he gives that salvation. This is where he puts this gift. Because if it rests on you to prove it to him, well, that's going to take a lot more. Like, way more than you can give. But, well, that's already been finished, secured, paid for by the Son of God who did just this thing that you could never do. Died bloody on a cross after perfectly fulfilling the law. There, we receive all of that forgiveness, all of that life, all of that salvation right there in the, those waters. That To receive that the baptism that God would give you is to receive the salvation itself. And, and there, when you see what God would cram into that water by putting his name and word into it, then baptism becomes very, very impressive because it gives to you the very thing that God promises it will, salvation. 